Hey, my name is Eric. In today's video, we're doing a review of Clean My Mac X in 2020. So I say in 2020 because I did this review video that you're seeing on screen back in September of 2018, and there are three new features that have been added to Clean My Mac X, and I wanted to cover those in this video quickly. So as you can see in the screen right now, there are uh, seven drop-down options in these buckets here uh, for Clean My Mac. When I open up mine, you're gonna see that there are eight buckets. So one of the things that they've added is this real-time malware monitor protection service. So you can run a scan and what it'll do is it's actually gonna look at newly installed programs on your computer to see if there's any suspicious activity. And if you go to their knowledge base article here, uh, it says that it only used a tiny bit of the system resources to run this, but you can toggle this on and off if you have installed some new piece of software and you might have questions or concerns about it. You have Clean My Mac X to see if there's anything suspicious and it can also help you neutralize the issue. So that's kind of a cool, fun little update that they've added. Personally, I don't really install a ton of new software that I'm worried about, so I don't use that one a lot. But the next two, I'm gonna show you exactly how they work now. Uh, as you can see on the left-hand side here, this was what was available in 2018 on the software. I didn't have to pay for these new features. It was all just kind of an update to the service. So what we're looking at right now are extensions. So you can stay in control of the types of your system extensions, including widgets, plugins, dictionaries, and other items. So I have 10 extensions on my computer. So what we're gonna do is just kind of take a look at it um, within the Spotlight plugins, which you know right here, uh, Spotlight. Uh, the main search tool of your Mac can have some unnecessary plugins. Uh, which you can easily remove completely or disable temporarily. So I have iWork Importer, iBooks. You know what, for the size that these are, I'm not concerned. Uh, preference panes, all of your applications that come in the form of preference panes from your system preferences are listed here. Manage them easily within Clean My Mac. Uh, honestly, I kind of see some of this stuff and I look at it and I go, eh, it's not huge. Uh, I'm not too concerned because I don't want to, you know, close out something that I'm not too familiar with. Uh, but uh, this is a good one right here because really, like, this is where you can kind of just see, like, I don't really use Skype anymore. Uh, I don't use LastPass. I don't like Cisco. Um, I do use Zoom. Uh, WebEx, I do not use either. So I can at least remove these from my system uh, as far as these plugins. So you can see that those have been removed. But the one that I really like here is Space Lens because space on my computer is a constant issue. And my problem is I do a lot of videos. So this feature I've used several times. One of my issues is I do a lot of videos. These take up a ton of memory. So uh, what you're gonna see here is you're gonna use this Space Lens tool to scan your different files. Uh, it works pretty quickly, but it's gonna give you a really easy layout here of where you are uh, using up most of your hard drive space. So you see I have about 500 gigs on my hard drive. It's pretty much full, but 258 of it's in this folder. So what you can do here is just press right. And then you can see that most of it is uh, right there, 237 gigs. And then not surprisingly, uh, movies, library, and all that is a huge component of this. Now I can see this Final Cut Pro package is taking up 134 gigs of space in my computer, which is crazy. Uh, so I'm gonna leave that for now though. Uh, I just wanted to kind of highlight how this works. So again, like you can go through and all right, why do I have 27 gigs of music? So why don't we see what that is? It's mostly in iTunes, 25 gigs, which is 5% of my storage. Uh, and then looking at iTunes media, music, and then see what we got. Unknown artist, unknown album. And now that I'm looking at this, I realize that these are old recordings uh, for work. These are no longer necessary. So what I can do is click this button right here. And I'm gonna take this whole uh, 15 or 16 gigabyte uh, folder here and remove it. So just like that, I've found 16 gigs that I'm sure somebody who is really computer savvy can find. I do not find Clean My Mac X to be for the high end uh, Mac user. I find it to be for somebody like myself who isn't really confident or doesn't really know how to get around too well. And you just want that tool to assist you to help keep your computer clean. So this is just a really quick debriefer on some of the updates from Clean My Mac X. I do have a affiliate link in the description below and I really appreciate it if you use my link because this is how I make my full-time income are doing these review videos and tutorials for you guys. So I really appreciate you using my link in the description or pinned comment. And like I mentioned on the screen, you will see my previous review, which covers all the other features of Clean My Mac X if you're interested in going through every single feature. Those are all still the same, but I just wanted to update you with these three new features in 2020. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoy the software and thanks for watching.